It's home decor time here on Bentley Blonde and you guys know if you've been watching my channel a while and maybe even if you haven't that third only to Jesus and family my life is home decor. I absolutely love decorating. It's a sick sick obsession. So today I'm going to be sharing a bunch of home decor stuff that I've picked up over the last few months. I'm really excited and I got a lot so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. Uh, now these first few things are all from the Target One Spot because I basically live there. If you ever can't find me at the Target just head to the front of the store and just like look low because I'm usually like down somewhere like digging like a little squirrel nutkin for the best deals. The first thing that I got at the Target One Spot was not one dollar which is I think why they changed the name recently to Bullseye Playground because a lot of the stuff is three to five dollars now because crazy people like me buy everything and so they know they can get more money for it. Um, so anyhow, this is a ceramic cake stand and I actually just picked this up. This is part of their Valentine decor so you can still get it. And this particular one was actually five dollars which is the priciest thing I've ever gotten at the Target one spot but it's because it's pretty massive. Like you could actually fit a legit cake on this thing. So I picked this up as part of my like Valentine motif that I'm working on. Um, and I also got just a plain little white cake pedestal and this one is smaller so this one was three dollars and I just love the little scalloped edges these are so cute and I had this as part of my like holiday decor setup but now that that's over with I just have it in my kitchen next to the sink and I just set my soap and lotion on it um, and it's just a cute sort of like little decorative way to have that for your guests also a Valentine stuff I got these cute little Valentine clothespins, and you can see they look like little Cupid's arrows. So, love those. Those were a buck. I think everything else I'm going to show you was actually a dollar. Um, and then I also got these little burlap heart tags that you can tie onto gifts, or I tied them onto like coffee mugs. Um, and they're all falling off, but it did come with four. They're like all over the place. Um, and then I also got this little burlap Happy Valentine's Day sign that I hung on my apothecary jar. Uh, and then I got a bunch of ribbon because I have a ribbon hoarding problem. <laughs> they had this buffalo plaid ribbon that I love for next Christmas. Um, I got like a gingham check ribbon and then also this black and white striped ribbon which is really cute for like hanging up my boxwood wreaths, that kind of thing. And then kind of random, but I love picking up these little wooden spools of twine, like the bakery twine. I have the regular one. There's like a lighter one and they always have them in all different colors. And I do occasionally use twine for like craft projects, but mostly I pick these up as fillers for my tiered trays. I have a ton of tiered trays and these are good. Um, just kind of stick in spots where you have a little bit of space because they're kind of like rustic and farmhousey. So got all those and if that wasn't enough twine you would think I lived like on a farm or something. I also got this giant spool of twine for a dollar and this comes in handy actually for a lot of projects. But like I said, I really use them as tray fillers. Um, and then also from the one spot I just got these paper straws and these are black with white polka dot. These are really cute for like styling Instagram photos like with coffee mugs, drinks, that kind of thing. So um, I always pick up the new ones of those that they have. And then last but not least, I also got this little two pack of milk bottles and they're really cute. They have like the little tin top and everything. Um, I think I've seen like three and four packs there for Valentine's that come with like the striped straws and everything. Um, but I got these back around Christmas time. So those are really adorable. Oh, I almost forgot. This is also from the one spot. This is my milk can. Can you believe I got that at the Target one spot? Actually a little shiny for me, so I'm going to do a vinegar rub on it and kind of make it look more old and tarnished. And so I just got some cotton stems to put in this little milk pail. These are from Michael's. Um, but I have that on our entryway table. And I know that I got more than that at the one spot in the last few months, but most of it was Christmas decor. And so, girl, that's all packed away. Uh, so this past weekend, we went to Home Goods and I picked up some really cute little like creamware. This is like a little double handled um, sugar pot. And this was actually on clearance at Home Goods for only $3. So you know I had to get it. Um, and again, I use these as like tray fillers. Um, I also have them in my hutch that I have in the dining room. And then I just got this little tiny cream pitcher and this was $2. So love those and those are on my new tray. Also from Home Goods, if you guys couldn't see it back here, I got a giant tiered tray. This is like tray number 80, 50, 100, um, because I have a complete tray hoarding obsession. Like I need to go to tiered tray addicts anonymous, which would be like ta-ta-ta. 
That's where I need to go because it's sick. And if you guys follow me on Instagram at Bentley Blonde, and if you don't, you should because I post pretty much every day. Uh, I took a picture holding this tray and I was like, you guys, like I need this, right? Because I basically knew I didn't need it and I knew that you guys would tell me I did and then I wouldn't feel so guilty buying it. So anyways, she came home with me, you guys, and she was $49.99. And I do not know why I am referring to her as a she or why I just said her. Probably because I view my tiered trays as people. I love them so much. Um, but anyhow, you can see that this is, a, this is a massive one. Like, I can't even fit it in the frame. It's really big. Um, and it's white and weathered wood. Um, and I like how the different tiers have, like, the lips. So you can kind of fill it up with stuff for the holidays and that kind of thing. And, oh, she looks so good in my dining room, y'all. I do not regret getting this tray for one minute. So anyways, I got that and then also I got this blankie, sort of like just a nice, really soft knitted tassel blanket. And I actually got the blanket for only $9 because it did not have a price tag on it. So if you're ever at like HomeGoods or TJ Maxx and something doesn't have a price tag and you can't find one like it, then just go to the manager and tell them and typically they'll just like pick a price and give it to you um, because they want to get rid of stuff. So the manager said he really wanted to get rid of this blanket, which I don't know why, but he gave it to me for only $9. So I was really excited. It looks really cute. I have it in my um, crate with a pillow next to the fireplace. But y'all already know that no shopping excursion is complete without purchasing boxwood balls. You guys, I got two of these, which probably means I now have like 30 boxwood balls, which is pretty ridiculous, but I literally put these everywhere. Like my home looks like a boxwood bomb went off. Uh, but they're just so fun to decorate with, and I get them for really cheap at Christmas tree shops. So if you have one of those, highly recommend it. You get them for $3.99 a piece, which is way cheaper than a lot of the craft stores charge for them. So like every time I go there, I'm pretty much buying more balls. You can't have enough balls in your life. So these two I actually have um, on the tiered tray behind me, kind of like styled, which if you want to see a picture, I have one on Instagram, so go check it out. Speaking of boxwood, because clearly I don't have enough in my life, uh, I recently went to Marshalls and I found this beauty. Uh, and I got this for our TV stand because I refinished a French provincial dresser that I got on Craigslist. Uh, and turned it into a TV stand in our living room and I needed stuff for the top. So I really liked how kind of like long this was and also farmhousey and green because in spring and summer I like to introduce green back into the house like as if the box would ever left. It doesn't. It doesn't. Um, but yeah. So anyways, this is more of like a grassy look than a box would look, but I just love the little crate it came in and this was only $19.99 and it looks so cute on our TV stand. So had to get that. So the next couple items are actually from Walmart, who, believe it or not, have really stepped their game up in home decor recently. Um, they have a lot more like farmhouse and rustic type stuff, especially now that they um, work with Reed Drummond. I love all of her dinnerware. Uh, so anyhow, if you guys want to see all the stuff I got from Walmart recently, I actually did a blog post over on BentleyBlonde.com, and it was like my whole holiday brunch setup, how I decorated my dining room, and almost everything was from Walmart. Um, so be sure to check that out. Uh, one of my favorite things that I got was this rustic tray, and this is from Walmart's Better Homes and Gardens line. And I use this in my dining room as like the kind of tray for all my hot cocoa stuff. I did a hot cocoa bar in our dining room for winter. Um, and this is just perfect, isn't it? It has like the wood bottom, and then it has the wrought iron all the way around. So this is still on my buffet in the dining room, and I love it. It would also be cute as obviously a serving tray, which is its purpose, uh, or like in the middle of a coffee table kind of styled. Also from Walmart, I got a bunch of these Reed Drummond Mason drinking glasses. You guys know I'm Mason Jar obsessed and Reed Drummond's line. Y'all, it's to die for. I like got a bunch of her dinnerware, plates, bowls, everything like that. Um, but one of my favorite things was these really cute Mason Jar glasses. And they say simple homemade goodness on them. So adorable. These cute little like daffodil printed tops and striped yellow straws. I know a lot of you guys are like crazy for mason jars like I am, so I had to share these with you guys. So next up um, is this beadboard wall shelf. Can you guys even see that? I feel like it's so hard to show you all white stuff because this ring light's like blam. Um, but anyways, I got this at Kirkland's and it's a really cute little shelf and it was on clearance for $14.99 and I got this 
Oh Lord, if I don't bust it up. I got this for Colton's nursery because he has so many cute things that people made for him, but I need a shelf to put them on. So I got one in store and they were sold out. So then I ordered one online. So I got two shelves and you can't beat the beadboard. Again, like a rustic look. So love those. And next, I'm almost embarrassed, you guys. It's another tiered tray. Yes, it is. And this one is from The Painted Fox. And that's actually a company that I discovered on Instagram. They have amazing farmhouse decor. I could be on their website all day. So I will go ahead and link it down below. But I actually got this two-tiered tray from them. And you can see it has like the little wrought iron rings at the top, really cute, super like distressed, rustic kind of whitewashed wood. And I actually have this on our TV stand as well. And I have it styled, of course, with boxwoods and stuff like that. Um, but anyhow, absolutely love this tray, really pretty. So I'll go ahead and put their website down below. I actually think that that's everything that I have to share with you guys today. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. I'll go ahead and list all the products that I showed you guys down below in case you missed where they were from. Um, and my next video should be January Favorites 2016. I know a lot of you guys had voted uh, for that on Facebook as well. So I hope that everybody has a really fabulous week and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye y'all.